All right, good day everyone. Gilbert, Arizona, Premium Coach Group. Great little winter's day, high about 70 degrees. Cannot complain about coming down here, trying to find some coaches, and being successful at finding coaches and staying comfortable. 2003 MCI chassis. Now, you're gonna ask yourself, well, what's Brian doing a video of an MCI for? Those usually don't get too many conversions put in them. Well, this coach is the ultimate point of destination party coach. So there's a quick glance of the inside. Let's take you through the base first though. We do have this cool little embroidered step up to the luxury. But cruise through here real quick. Base one and two, complete pass through base. We'll cover what that is over there on the other side here in a second. And that also. I don't know what the mirror's for. I don't think it even fits on this coach. But anyway, different subject line. Water heater. Water uh, pump down there in the very bottom. Water filter right there. And then the sewer drain, oddly enough, over here on the passenger side. Um... You ask yourself, what's that thing right there? It's got a dowel on the end and it's in a big long tube. Yeah, that's a removable stripper pole. So we'll show you where that goes on the inside here in a few minutes. Dual axle, 315s all the way around. It's gonna have a C12 Caterpillar in the engine in it. 2003, like I said, about 160,000 miles on it. Give you a quick view of the back. We'll bust open this engine compartment so you guys can get a ponder of that in there real quick. So there is that C12. And then it's going to have a few miscellaneous things. Super large alternator on it. Compressor here for the air conditioning system going over the road. A little diesel burner for some supplemental heat. Some controls, all that good stuff. Got those classic old Ford taillights out of the old van, I think tag axle again we'll make our way down here it looks like it's got an air conditioning system that is a carrier of some sort here's that uh, back side of those tanks gonna be your waste tank here your fresh tank forward spare tire and wheel this is what we we're talking about from the other side trash can it's got a pipe that actually goes all the way through the coach and then that way your trash can be right here empty that from the outside 50 amp service plug in up here midship then we're going to have those factory mci components here it's got that chassis modules for their multiplex systems similar to what western rv used on the apexes so that pretty much covers the outside tour of this bad boy we'll kind of pan back two-piece windshield here of course got that pop-up tv up in the middle so let's go inside and get you a tour of this thing. Super crazy. Party bus Royale. Look at this. We got the step in luxury on the driver's cab seat. Nice driver's cockpit area. Have a couple uh, cabin. Actually, this is going to be a systems access right here. So it gets you some of your systems that are located behind there. And then these are going to be just flip open cabinets here. You'll have another one of those some of your house systems going on over here inverter on off switch some 110 breakers 12 volt breakers and that outback controller all right now this is where it really starts to go down you got this little chair as you can see be able to hang out with the driver up here on the front no seat belt no big deal though we got this big old stainless rail here at the edges of it Big old booth here, another big old booth there, that pop-up TV, kind of cool, just press a switch, boom, TV goes away, little cabinet right here, some cup holders, got the valance lights all the way around, slowly changes colors, Rockford Fosgate, six and a half inches, six pairs of those, subwoofer under here, subwoofer back there. We'll make our way back here a little further. We've got this beautiful solid surfaces everywhere throughout this coach. Nice big dinette or 
I don't know, lounging table to hang out at. Nice large pop-up TV there, which is really cool because if you've got that stripper pole in there, which actually goes into this hole here in the floor, then you take that smoke detector down and then pop it into the ceiling and then boom, you all of a sudden have a party stage. The TV there. Now this TV is a pop-up. So in case your friends do want to see what's going on back there on the pole, you know, you can drop that down, be able to see the action back there in the back areas. 55 inch TV there on the wall, 32 inch TV there, PlayStation in there, satellite controller all in there, all that good stuff. Nice large booth, got that subwoofer back here in the back. As you can see that booth on the other side, you can just hang yourself back. Got yourself the stripper pole right there in the middle. TV going. Make your way back here to the toilet room. Beautiful large piano hinge here on that door. That way you don't have to worry about that sucker falling off. As you can see, nice large toilet room. Got that Tecma turd grinder. Got your mountain money holder there. Little spot you can put a cabinet in, a uh, trash can in here. That way you can drop that right through the top there. Got your overstock of mountain money that goes in there. And another little storage here below the sink. Got that little sink. Now check this out. It's got a Dyson. Pretty trick. Nice mirror. Make sure you're looking right before you step out of the toilet room. Now we're going to make our way back here to the uh, galley area. A little refrigerator there. We got some storage here under the sink. Another storage with that hole there again. So you can put that trash can. Just drop that through. Got your spot. Throw all your beers and your ice. Some spots to keep all your olives and your uh, garnishment for your margaritas. And for your bloodies and ma martinis. Got your microwave up there across the top. More storage across here. This is pretty cool. It's a little slide out stewardess seat. Now I haven't figured out how to get that out quite yet. But James and I, the AZ expert, did pull this tub out. And you can see there is a seat there. But we gave this a tug and it didn't seem to want to open. And we weren't really in the mood to start destroying things. So we kind of left that be. But that's kind of the hibbity-dibbity on this coach. Nice flat colored floors coming up the sides here with some heater air conditioning ducts. Pretty cool. All those pop-up TVs. I mean, this would be the ultimate tailgating rig right here. So, all right, everyone, that is a tour of the 2003 MCI converted bus made into a party bus. I want to say this was converted by, it actually says just here on the end of the door, who did this MCI conversion, and that would be Empire Coach Company back in July of 2004. So, all right, everyone. Oh, I forgot to bring up, you do have the privacy curtain. So if you're out in the area and you don't want anybody getting a view of what you got going on in the potty zone, you can always close that and then open that up. And that way you can be getting all wild and crazy and buck style back here in the back. So, all right, everyone, drop some comments below what you think of the ultimate party bus. I will put a link in the description below to the little 40-foot party bus I did back in Eugene called the Eugene Party Bus that uh, Phil Knight from Nike used to use, go back and forth to the airport to the Ducks games, and then it would get rented out otherwise too. But this is a serious party bus. So, All right, everyone. Thanks for taking that time to subscribe. Totally appreciate all that. Appreciate all the comments. Appreciate all the likes down below. I hope everybody's just having a great day. Till next time. I'll go try to find some more great coaches for us. Bye-bye.